Hi everyone. We're just going to show here quickly that Obama and his machine are trying to bring as much chaos as they can leading up to the inauguration of Donald Trump and that these signs are going to escalate as we near the end of the month. Do you see right up here in the corner? Look at that. 119. Do you see that? 119. That represents the beast rising, the 911 beast. And do you see here, this one congressman is now beginning to say that Donald Trump should not be president because of the Russia hacking. The Russia hacking has not been verified. It could have been a fake news story that Obama and Hillary Clinton started themselves to give them a net, if you will, through the election. In other words, something they could blame it all on. And now we are nearing this time of violence in the Bible, actually. And Obama is trying to bring as much problems as he can. Here we have this one gentleman here, an actual congressman, saying that Donald Trump should not become president. And now we have that they have pushed the Senate to open probe on possible Trump-Russia ties. At the same time as all of this, as prophesied in the Bible, Obama is leading 70 nations against Israel on January 15th, right before Martin Luther King Day and such. But you see this here? In the Bible it talks of when Satan goes against Israel, there will be great destruction coming across the earth. And Obama is leading 70 nations against Israel on the 15th. That doesn't mean we know if something's going to happen or not. Who knows? Now at the same time as all of this, the corrupt woman Loretta Lynch, who was found conspiring with Bill Clinton during the elections, is now coming out and talking all about police violence and condemning the police in Chicago, a city that has thousands of young black men killed by other black men in gangs, whereas yes, there are police problems, but this is as a war zone, so the police are not the direct problem there she is preparing to incite violence. They want the BLM to rise up. They want to actually lead to a civil war. These things are going to escalate. It's all escalating. Everything's being set in place as now they go against Israel and they prepare the USA for violence. It's all shown right here in this main Bank of America mural. This represents what is called the Large Cern Hadron Collider opening up and something coming through the abyss. It's the Bible in times. And it shows right here they want the Black Lives Matter group to attack the police. And then there will be this disease released right here. See the big V right on top? It's known as the fifth age. Watch how prominent the symbolism is. See the V? Because it's the fifth angel with the keys to open the abyss. The fifth angel with the keys to open the abyss is the 911 beast that opens the abyss. 911. Watch how prominent. Remember the fifth angel. John Lewis. He is the US representative for Georgia's fifth congressional district. Do you see how the symbolism always plays out? The fifth. The fifth angel with the key to open the abyss that brings violence. Yes, brings violence. There they are. This will incite violence against the police. They are all conspiring. All of them. And right there it shows the violence coming against the police. The V for the fifth age. A nuclear power plant melting down. And this is the birth in Revelation 12 that only happens when they go against Israel and a worldwide earthquake happens. And it ends over here with martial law that crushes out the BLM. It's all planned. See that there? With World War III beginning. Everybody's involved in this game. There you go. Here they come. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Every single day we will see a, an escalation in the pressure as we near the time of the inauguration. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. Don't be violent. Realize the whole earth is as a stage. Let's all be brothers and sisters and just get along. Every single thing is being engineered and manufactured for the end times. We could all get along. There could be no racial violence at all. 
if it wasn't for all of these world leaders provoking everything going on, white and black. God have mercy on us all. We are all brothers and sisters. Hallelujah.